get the you know the mechanics of this up and running it shouldn't take long to build the, the actual platforms I don't know if I've got enough gear there to build them all but build most of it um, anything in particular I need to bring uh, money lots of money lawyers guns and money I'm hoping I've taken enough there for it but I'm not a hundred percent sure it needs four comparators and four hoppers per lane and I think the witch spawning area is 11 lanes and you can get two tiers in the small area that witches can spawn so it's 22 lanes so I, I'm, I'm, I think I've got it all but I mean uh, I can't be 100% certain so I right. think we, that was a no we've got we've got a uh, now if we need to send anybody back for stuff no, that's right I didn't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> well, witches can only spawn within that space of the hut. Right. Um, basically, in, in within the, si the the whole size of the hut. So, so right. you can just about squeeze two layers of spawning area that into it. Um, that's all. So it's a very, very small space that you can actually get witches in, but it's worth it, isn't it? Infinite redstone, glowstone, and all the other stuff that comes with them. <laughs> Bottles stones, and sticks. Gallbladder stones. Spider's eyes, they do spider's eyes. So we'll still only need you for the string. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. We gave him one task on the server. One. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember being given any time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to have a look at your blacksmith as well. G says you built a nice one. Have you finished it? Um, yeah, other than just tweaking the interior and all. Yeah, the mm -hmm. exterior's done. Cool. Yeah. Reminds me, let me get my bed off the hot bar while we're here in the <laughs> here in the nether. Here in the nether. So I'm staring at the results of the last time I got told to go to bed. <laughs> Nobody told you to go to bed in the nether. <laughs> Look at that, all that hard work, because this floor I had to dig out underneath and lay in, and then they changed the darn spawning on it so that it's not spawn proof anyway. The amount of work I put in to get that floor in, because I had to dig down to here and, and then lay that in above me, then knock out the blocks above it and then fill in the blocks below it and all that. I kept telling you just to make a damn wooden axe and world guard it, but no. Somebody thinks that's cheating. <laughs> Not cheating, just <laughs> different. Mm. You are right. You English do like to have a good whinge every now and then, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up or I'll shoot a pig man nearby. <laughs> <coughs> that affects me. I'm in the nether too. Let me leave. <laughs> Remember, you have to left shift to jump out your minecart when you get here. Oh, he probably hasn't even left his house yet. Oh, I'm coming your way. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so you said before I get to the hive, is that what you said? Yeah. You You'll the see the two of us standing here. Base. We're standing on the track, so if you jump off before you get to us... Um, then your track should stop just in front of me. Your cart should stop just in front of me. But I'll not stand on the track so I don't bump it back your way just in case. But yeah, we're at the old base because we've got oh. to cut through to the witch farm. I, I dug a, I dug a temporary path to it. Mm -hmm. I'll put a proper one in once we know where the base is actually going to be. Okay. Temporary implying yes, it is dangerous as hell. Keeps would have been proud. <laughs> It's only a small lava lake. Here you 
you go. Jump off before you get to the pumpkin there. Well, not that far back, but... <laughs> That's all right. It'll still stop when it gets here. Yeah, you that's go. a dead piece of track under your feet there, so it stops it. If you're in it, you'll ride across it and you'll keep on going. It'll just slow you for a little moment, but right. if you're not in it, it stops the car. Okay. Okay. After you. Oh sh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hope to God you don't get the run forward bug. Oh yep. gosh, yes. Oh, I've had that a little... few times recently. Yeah, G was helping me light up um, the place on the place underneath the witch farm. The other night, and we found one ravine, and then found another ravine joining that ravine. Mm -hmm. Good old-fashioned fun. <laughs> Waiting for stuff to drop out of the sky above you. <laughs> that. Yeah. Sorry, I missed that. But came back with half an inventory full of coal ore. Mm. What do you do with that half an inventory full of coal ore? Throw it in your workshop just a few minutes ago. Did you? Yeah. Oh, that's very kind of you. Was the space for it? Wow. Yep. I'm doing worse than I thought. <laughs> right. If it's night when we get out of here, I'll jump straight into bed. Please be night. Please be night. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you swine. <laughs> I just wanted to jump into the bed with you. In bed. <laughs> in bed. I'm waiting. <laughs> jump in bed. Yeah, time again, Nick. Already coming through. Basically, all I've done here, Dwendon, is I marked out the full perimeter of the place by putting a big X, uh, big box around it. Mm -hmm. Um, in cobble. Okay. I've left the witch hut intact. Mm -hmm. I haven't done anything to the witch hut yet. I just built a small space underneath where they will drop to so we can wash them down and down a pit. Okay. But I haven't actually touched the witch hut itself. It's still there. I just touched it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did so what we've got good? to do now is we, we've got to remove the witch hut. Mm. Um, and I marked where the actual spawning floors will be. With these half slabs. Those are the best. Those are the the best way we can get it. That's the maximum space. Okay. So we basically want to take everything away apart from the cobblestone around the outside. So we know, and then just fill it all these half slabs in. Fill the rest of it in. Oh, I didn't bring my axe. Dang I didn't bring an axe either. Well, don't look at me. I got an axe in there. Nope. I made one. No, I didn't even bring bread. You didn't even bring bread. I didn't even bring bread, so... Mama Cogbinder is going to excommunicate you. Yeah, well, it won't be the first time. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to park it right quick, uh, run to the bathroom, yeah, and get some coffee. Oh, thank you. There's actually an axe in the stock chest here, too, so just FYI. Be oh. right back. All right. Okay, we'll wait for you. He wants to get it all on camera, I think, so... Okay. I'm recording. I'm looking y'all's oh. way. Alright, you just want us to knock it. Alright, okay then. <laughs> Can still see you! <laughs> <laughs> Basically, now we've just got to disassemble this. We're alright now that we've got it marked up. So you said everything except for that half slab area that you're standing uh, on? The stone half slab's here, and the stone half slab's here, and the cobblestone. Yeah. Okay. Take everything else out, and then that cobblestone just marks the area. But what we're building is we're building intelligent floors um, <clears throat> where they will they will shift if a mob spawns on them. 
but not otherwise so it's not like you don't have to have them on a clock so they're always moving which okay. produces lag so it Well, that's the aim anyway. What they end up like, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've seen a video or two of a huge construction thing that, uh, where people built something that was a witch farm. Yeah. Didn't really watch all of it enough to figure out how it worked and all, so yeah, I'm assuming it's the same thing, or maybe they had them built with clocks, I don't know. Well, eventually we'll put a roof on this that will shade it so that it can spawn during the day, even. Okay. okay. Next we want to get the, the half slabs. I'm hoping I brought all the stuff over here. I thought I did. Where is it all? resources here. Ah, it's in this chest here, yeah. Okay. Here, Dwendon. Here's a stack of half slabs. Okay. So we basically now just want to fill in the the, the um the cobblestone area with half slabs? Yes. That's it. So inside the cobblestone, though. Um, just do the up. bottom. Just do the bottom one first. We'll just do the bottom layer first, and then see it, see that it works first of all. So yes, inside with inside the inside the thing. Yeah. And because these are half slabs that are uh, <coughs> the upper half of the block, they can spawn on top of it. You see. Correct. Oops. right I think it should be something like about is it 7 by 9 or 11 by 9 um, I'll have to count it Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven by nine. <coughs> okay. Right. The next thing to do is to add uh, the pistons that will push the slabs backwards and forwards. And these are just normal pistons. So let me give you half of these. Alrighty, I'm back. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't have the recording going. Can y'all put it back and then we can tear it apart again? Oh, uh, yeah, no problem. <laughs> hey, it dodged. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what those particle effects were. When <laughs> <laughs> you hit me and I dodged it. Yay! Uh, uh... See? All those years of jumping off the upper floor of the uh, museum, it paid off. Okay, now on one side we need to leave a one space gap away. Oh, that should be the other way around. Oh, come on, come on. Uh, like that. We need to need a, leave a one space gap between the piston and the, the floor. Oh, on on the other side. side, you want it to be right up against it. So, just like, like that, yep. That's it. And these are half slabs? These are half slabs, but they're the upper half of the block, so it mm -hmm. spawn on these. Okay. But they're half slabs so that they're, they're, when they're moving, the monster should fall through them nice sure. and easily. And the pistons will push half slabs? Um, the pistons, yeah, they'll, they'll okay. push those, no cool. problem, yeah. Um, now I need to put a layer of upside down half slabs. Um, 
this is the side that's away from them, so this is the one that has to be three wide. Uh, let's see, uh, the yeah, this one, this is the side that needs three comparators on it, so that uh, that has to come back that far. And then on this side it's just one. Okay, Gene, can you get the comparators out of that chest that's just be, um, in the middle of the space? Um, and give comparators to Dwendon, please. towards the pistons. That's it. Now the hoppers I'm attaching towards that block so that they, they face each other. And I'll show you how to do it. On the other side, it's just one comparator, um, but it's about to go dark, so it's just one comparator facing towards the, the block. Mm, bad, yes. Whoops, there it goes. Alright, maybe it's still counting as bouncing. No, it's still Let's counting as bouncing if you, if you haven't got out and got in. There we go. Yeah. Okay, here's the hoppers dwindling. Do you know how to play as hoppers? It all depends on what block you, you're looking at when you place it, where its um, little pipe feed will go. So, okay. for the first row of hoppers, you want to be looking at the side of the cobblestone, and you'll see that underneath it, its its pipe attaches to the cobblestone. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You um, should be able to handle that. He's used to little pipe. Definitely not got enough hoppers here. What? For, oh, I used them. I used them for uh, the thingy system, didn't I? I'll have, to, I'll have to go back to the hive and see if I've got any more. Um, so the next row, next lot of hoppers, you've got to put facing, the, attach them to the sides of the hoppers there, so that the two pipes will connect. That's it. That's it. Um, and the same at this side. I've got two hoppers left. Uh, we'll just do this end one then, so we can just test that it, it's working. Uh, uh, you need to place a block and then that you can attach the hopper to. Yeah, That's it. Okay, um, now we need the sticky pistons and the redstone blocks. So let me get you the sticky pistons. Oh, you can get the sticky pistons and the redstone blocks, yes. Mm -hmm. 
Um, you might also want to take the tripwire hooks and a stack of string just to, if you've got room.